camera projection is a 3D texturing technique used to project an image onto an existing geometry. Hey guys, my name is Joe and I'll be showing you how to create this 3D scene from a 2D image. So basically we're going to start by applying the image, the 2D image we're going to be using as a background image on the camera. So you go down to background images and you add the image that we're going to be using for today's tutorial. I will be dropping the link to the image in the description so you can get it there and follow along with the tutorial. So what we'll do that we can go into the camera view and we can see that the image is already as a background image on the camera. So what we're going to do next is to start um you know applying our add-on that we'll be using for today's tutorial lest i forget we are going to be using two primary add-ons for this tutorial one is the perspective plotter and the other is no wrangler for the perspective plotter link will be in the description on where to download the add-on and um how to install the add-on you go to edit preference and then you go to where you have downloaded the add-on and you install the add-on Please note that this add-on only shows in the end panel when you're in the camera view. Well, I'm going to just quickly add a cube and, um, you know, start mapping out the scene. For the y-axis, we're going to line up to the y any y-axis in the image. And then for the x-axis, we're going to look for x-axis that actually flow um, in the image. Um, for this, I'm using the base of those containers because they're actually, uh, they're actually a straight line. If you notice you're having error with your perspective pl plotter, just try to make sure that you are lining up these images very well and they all are pointing to a vanishing point. If they are both parallel and on the same plane, it won't work. So another thing that you should take note of is to match the background image. Down there, you see that we had clicked match background image and it matches the aspect ratio of the image accordingly. So we're going to move on to adding geometry basic shapes so that we can use that to you know as a base to project the 3d image what i'm just trying to do is to make sure that this 3d primitive image aligns with our containers in the scene um we can also go into edit mode to make sure that these bases align properly right here you see i'm moving back and forth to try to make sure that these things align so here i'm trying i'm adding loop cuts so that i can extrude the top part of the container just to give it a little more detail and at some point i also added more loop cuts just in case i would need to um you know maybe perform an animation or a simulation or something just to be safe but then not just too much so that it doesn't bug out the scene and be so heavy so what I'm doing here is just add a little bit more detail to the container, you know, just to make it look good. So I'm actually shading the container now and I connected the image to the primary BSDF base color. And then what I did was to go into edit mode, select all the vertices, click my letter U and project from view. Now we have the base to the image and the geometry. Now what I did next was to add a gamma node so that I can get the color to um, a place where it's actually looking okay as I feel like the 2D image was overexposed. Now we have the gamma and the color to where we feel like it's it's in a good place. Now what I'm going to do is to you know start duplicating our base container and stacking them above each other. In stacking them, I noticed that some of the images were distorted and out of place. So I went into edit mode to start um fixing them one after the other. Right here, I'm still duplicating these containers. I, I make sure that these are duplicated first before I select all and project from view. Please note that you press the letter U and you click project from view to get that image on the containers. So now I have my primary base. I can now move on to arranging my 3D scene. I'm placing my camera to where I want. I selected this vertical aspect ratio as I wanted to make sure that the beauty of the scene was captured and not those um, elongated textures. Now you can see you can relight the scene and reposition the lights. I went on to texturing the ground. Initially I had a concrete texture but, but I finally went for um, like, like a water scene. 
right here i'm adding um volumetric to the scene just to capture more lighting and visual interest in the scene I noticed the light was reflecting in the, in the um, volumetric that I didn't want, I didn't want to reflect in. So I went on to the object property to switch off the volume scatter. So right here, I'm duplicating the light across our light object that I've already created, just to make sure that you know it creates extra visual interest in the scene with the shape of the spotlight. So right here i'm giving i'm giving um, a color to to these lights just to you know create a vibe and a mood in the scene so i went on to downloading a background image that we can use as the background of our scene what i did next was to import these images as plain And I started to position and um, rearrange accordingly just so it fits the scene and um, I don't have any parallax error or issue with you know the placement of the background image Still trying to make sure it's placed correctly. Okay, I think I've gotten into a point where it looks good. So now I went on to creating more visual interest in the containers by creating a light using a wave texture and just committing, connecting that to the emission node. When I created this light, I just duplicated it across the container just to highlight that. And I did that to the other side of the containers. Alright, now we have the final image in Photoshop and I just tried to, you know, increase the um, saturation a bit and, you know, created a little bit of vignettes to the image. Also, the contrast was bumped up a lot, a lot, because the final image out of Blender was, was really flat. I'm adding a little bit of texture and noise to the image and here is the final against the former out of Blender. So that's it guys, so long and until I see you in the next one, peace.